What if I told you that every person in India carries DNA from at least two completely different ancient populations? And that 1600 years ago, something happened that suddenly stopped thousands of years of genetic mixing, creating one of the most unique population structures on Earth. Welcome to the most complex genetic puzzle on this planet. In 2009, geneticists made breakthrough discovery. Every Indian carries DNA from both ancestral North Indian and ancestral South Indian populations, with ancestral North Indian showing genetic influence from Middle Easterners, Central Asians, and Europeans. Recent studies found even more complexity. Four dominant ancestries in Indian populations, ancestral North Indian, ancestral South Indians, ancestral Tibeto-Burman, and ancestral Austro-Asiatic. Everyone in India, from Kashmir to Kerala, carries genetic signatures from multiple ancient populations. For thousands of years, these groups mixed freely. India was genetic crossroads where populations from four different continents intermarried and created unprecedented genetic discovery. But then something extraordinary happened. About 70 generations ago, Roughly 1600 years ago, this widespread genetic mixing suddenly stopped. Almost overnight, populations that had been intermarrying for millennia became genetically isolated. This wasn't gradual, it was rapid and complete. Research shows that widespread mixing was rapidly replaced by endogamy in just a few centuries. Here's what's fascinating. This timing coincides exactly with the strengthening and formalization of caste-based social systems across India. What had been fluid social groups became rigid, hereditary categories with strict marriage rules. Suddenly, who you could marry wasn't about your geography, personal choice, or even economics. It became determined by the social group you were born into. Genetic studies show that people began marrying almost exclusively within their own castes and subcastes. The genetic consequences were immediate and dramatic. Within just a few generations, distinct genetic signatures began emerging in social groups. It's like someone drew invisible walls that DNA couldn't cross. Here's where research gets really striking. Studies found that genetic affinity to Europeans is proportionate to caste hierarchy. Upper castes being more similar to Europeans, while lower castes are more similar to ancient Indian populations. But it's not just about hierarchy. The caste system created something unprecedented in human genetics. Social structure became stronger predictor of genetic similarity than geographic distance. People living in the same village from different castes became more genetically distinct from each other than people from the same castes living hundreds of kilometers apart. Social boundary literally became genetic boundaries. Each caste group essentially became its own isolated breeding population. This created genetic bottlenecks, small effective population sizes that amplified genetic drift and created distinct disease susceptibilities in different communities. This genetic isolation created both opportunities and challenges for modern medicine. Different caste populations developed distinct genetic risk factors for diseases. Some communities have higher rates of certain genetic conditions, while others have natural resistance to diseases. For example, specific genetic variants that protect against malaria are found in different frequencies in different communities. Drug responses vary significantly between Indian populations because of its unique genetic history. A medication that works perfectly for one community might be ineffective or even harmful to the other. Indian genetic diversity remains underrepresented in global genetic databases, meaning medical research based in European genetics often doesn't apply to Indian populations. We are talking about 1.4 billion people whose genetic medicine needs are still being figured out. What makes this story remarkable is that we only discovered this in the last 15 years. Advanced DNA sequencing revealed those ancient mixing and isolation events with unprecedented precision. 
Scientists can now trace exactly when populations split, estimate how many people were involved in ancient migrations, and can identify which social changes caused genetic isolation. This research has implications beyond India. Its clearest example ever documented on how social structures can influence human evolution in real time, providing insights on how cultural practices literally reshape our DNA. The genetic story of India reveals something profound. In just 70 generations, social rules completely rewrote the genetic future of an entire subcontinent. Every Indian shares common ancestors from ancient mixing events, yet also carries unique genetic signatures from centuries of caste-based isolation. It's a reminder that human genetics tells stories not just about biology, but about how societies can literally shape evolution. Thank you. Follow and subscribe for more such interesting stories.